In this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy a new auto server using setting style. For your convenience, we have added all the materials from this video to the official documentation, so you can check them later and follow all the steps. Now, let's go ahead. Let's start from the very beginning and install setmix star first. So for this, I need to type setmix here, and here is the tower app. This app will install all the modules which are included. So if you want to install just some of them, simply remove this app filter, and later you can install them one by one. I will install everything, so I will simply click here, activate, and have all the setmix tower modules installed at once. Okay, the modules are installed right now, and among them we have also installed a special module which allows us to process those tasks asynchronously. It requires additional configuration and it's described in the official documentation, so feel free, check okay how to configure the job queue. Now, the next step, what we need to do is to configure these user access settings, and let's do it here. We have the only user, and here is the group which we need to configure. So the first one is the access level, and I will set the highest access level for this user. It will be root. Then uh, we will be using predefined templates, which means that we need to have this access to the YAML import. And also, just for the sake of testing, I will allow this YAML export as well. Save it, and we are ready to go. OK, as long as we have added and access to a new app, we need to refresh our browser window to ensure that all the icons are displayed properly. And here it is, set mixed up. Now you see we don't have any servers here and we can probably click here and create a new one, but we'll use the power of the tower right now and import all the predefined settings using YAML file. We have the YAML file here, let's upload it and process. Okay, important thing is that each time when you import a YAML file that contains some secrets, those secrets are listed here, so you can see them. And later you should configure them manually. Why? Because secret values are never saved in YAML files, so you can save the secret, but you cannot save a secret value, which means that you need to configure and to set that secret value manually later. Okay, now let's click Import. And here you have a message which tells you, okay, those records are imported and those records belong to those modules. Tower server template, set next tower variable. Perfect. Now let's check them. We have templates here and we have two of them. And each of those templates is imported together with all, all properties. So it has configuration, server logs, it has shortcuts. It also has the flight plans, which are triggered by this template, which means that if you go here to commands, you will see all the commands here, and you will also see all the flight plans, and definitely you will see all the variables uh, to get these variable values, which I have added to this flight plan and to this file. And also, which we have already discussed before, you can see all the keys and secret values here in this list. Our first server is going to be really simple. For it, we need just this deployment key. So copy your private SSH key, put it here. And remember that as soon as you put any information here, it's replaced by a spoiler. OK, so we are all set for our first server, and let's go and create it. Click here, servers, templates, uh, pick a template. We will pick this one and you can create it just from here or we will open it and see, okay, we have all the configuration. So let's click create server. It will be server one. Uh, you can add tags and all that stuff here. You can also specify your preferred connection method. But for the sake of testing, we are using this Hetzner instance, so it will be root with the deployment key and authentication method will be uh, with the SSH key. And you see we have some mandatory fields here in the configuration, which are marked red, and also they are listed here in the bottom, so you don't forget them in case there are too many of them. 
So the first one will be an instance name, and let's call it demo one, for example. The next one mandatory is auto DB manager password. And important, I do not recommend you to store your passwords like this, but this is done just for the sake of testing. So let's create some random password. Instance URL, we will leave it blank for now because we want just a single auto instance without any servers, without nothing. Same for the Docker network. Edition, it's community edition. We can pick community or an enterprise and we don't need any demo data here. Okay, perfect. Now let's put our IP address here or DNS address and click confirm. Yes, we are sure. Perfect. Our server is being created right now. And you see we have those common logs and flight plan logs. We can check it here. This flight plan log is already running. Okay, let's wait for it to finish and proceed further. Okay, so you see this notification, our server is created, uh, everything is fine. And you should also refresh uh, this page. So you will see that the status has changed to running. And we also have a URL here, which was uh, set automatically by the flight plan. And the flight plan logs are accessible from here. So you can see, okay, which commands were run and their access codes. Now let's go here, click this URL. And congratulations, we have our first auto server deployed with Setmix Tower. Okay, so now we have our first auto server. Let's create another one. And this time we will go further. We will add a new URL. And we also, why not? Let's install Auto Enterprise. By the way, I remind you that you can find all the information using the link below. And the YAML file, which I'm using for this demo, is also there. For this, we are going to use the same server template as before. And this time, we are going to install Auto Enterprise, which means that we need to have access to the private repo. And for that, we need the GitHub token. So let's go here to Keys and Secrets. And open the GitHub token secret. And I have already put a value here, so my token is hidden. But I can overwrite it once again, so you can see it. Save it. And another key that we need to put here, another secret, yes, is the Postgres password. Why? Because this time we will be using Docker Network uh, to manage several containers simultaneously. So it will be the standard password. Let's call it Perfect. Let's go back to the server templates. Pick this one, create, create server, and let's call it demo with URL. And this time we'll put an IP address, so we can also put a DNS here, no, no difference. Instance name, uh, it will be URL demo. Uh, instance URL. Uh, you should put your URL here and keep in mind it shouldn't be prefixed. DB manager password. Okay, let's make it really simple this time. One, two, three. And you remember we are going to put Docker network because we would like to have several containers in the same network and we don't want to expose our auto container outside. Yes, so we are going to expose only Nginx. So it, it will be, let's say, in tower. Addition will be, this time it will be Enterprise. Oh, okay, let's put another version here, for example, 17. Seems that we are ready to go. Confirm, click. And you see our white plan is already running. So let's wait for it. Go back to the server file. And let's wait. Okay, so long-awaited green notification is here. That means that the server is created and we need to refresh this page. But, oh, we can go here, click servers, and okay, our server is running. Let's click it. And voila, here we go. So let's check if we have everything installed. Demo one, email will be admin, password will be admin. And let's create database. 
Okay. Admin. Admin. And yes, this is a new database, and this is Odo 17. And you see, this is Enterprise Edition. So everything that we wanted. One important thing I need to mention is that uh, before you can actually access this URL, so you need some time for the web server to start. And you can check how it's going here in the auto logs and in the engine clocks. So click here and you will see, okay, what's happening here? What's happening here? So in case something is happening and some errors or something like you are not expecting to get here, simply click here and check the logs. So looks like this wasn't too much complicated either. And you should keep in mind that that's just an example. So you can basically create your own flight plans, your own commands, and install other software, not just Todo. For example, WordPress, Shopify, whatever you like. In our next video, I will show you how not just install something on an existing server, but create that server from scratch and create a DNS record, everything that you need in one click. So stay tuned and may the power of the tower be with you.